Next thing we'd like to talk about before we get in depth into the measure phase is the idea of daily management and how do we take a structured approach towards the control and improvement of daily management. Many of you have heard of the methodology called 5S. And what I want to do is expand that because 5S is a methodology for the workers. And we're going to expand it to what we call 10S, which includes then the integration of the workers' activities with those of the supervisor. So this is actually a combined responsibility. And we see there are 10 steps. The five steps of 5S are pretty uh, commonly known to most people uh, in industrial engineering. It's sort, systematize, sanitize, standardize, and self-discipline in English. But what we see is it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to start sorting things and saying that's the beginning. In reality, the responsibility for the first step is in the ground of the supervisor, and that is to study. And we also see that that is delegated to the workers in terms of a concept called hanse or reflection. And so this self-reflection is something everyone should be doing, and then the supervisor is saying, when do we break standard work to make improvement happen? So when do we go into the sort, systematize, sanitize? Now, if you think about it, after you've done those steps, you're not ready, really, to create a standard. What you have to do is you have to do things like streamline the work process. You have to simulate or test the system. You have to synchronize the flows, safeguard or mistake-proof this process. And then, at that point in time, you can standardize it and then put it into a process of self-control or self-management or self-discipline. So those other steps, though, the reason they're not in 5S is they require the collaborative work of a team of people that are working in the manufacturing environment. So the streamlining may be done not just by the supervisor who's going to balance the workflow, but also by the production controller. The testing might be done by the industrial engineers who are evaluating how to do the process. Synchronization may be done by industrial engineers and production controllers, and safeguarding may be designed by industrial controllers and implemented by maintenance team people. So we see the workers cannot actually accept responsibility for all of those tasks because those are things that other people have to do. And so we have to remember, we cannot delegate all responsibilities to the workers to make them or enforce them to improve the process. It takes a team to do this, inclusive behavior and collaborative work among people. So if we take a look, the details of each of those steps are going to be in the, the handout material, and you can study those on your own to understand how that's going to work. But I want you just to be entering this process in terms of measurement when we start looking at the measures, when we go to the Gemba to realize it's not just the workers who are responsible. So we're going to come back and think about how we deal with waste in the process. What do we really mean by waste in that process? Is it really what we have been told? Is it Muda? That's the next question we'll cover in these videos.